Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with arrows. 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 I'd like to think that that's a Hamlet reference, but it's probably not. Arrows, Arrows, Arrows by Nomath Dork. Nomath Dork said that this is their second ever puzzle. The first one was solved by Ranksk and they've sent the second one through to me. I'm not sure on the timing on this one. Um, I watch a, quite a few of Ranksk's streams. Check out Ranks channel. It's listed off my homepage under other channels. Um, but I have not seen um, all of the stuff that Ranks does. There's just so much content out there in the world. You should pick and choose. There's a lot of good solvers out there. Um, so... Uh, yeah, this one came through as their second ever puzzle, um, and yeah, I'm going to take a look at it. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I've got much more to say. Um, hope By the time this comes out, I've probably started streaming, I hope, um, Portal 2 on Bremster Games. Um, that's something I'm looking forward to. I haven't got the new computer yet, but it's due any in a couple of days, um, and I'm recording well in advance. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's get on to the puzzle. Normal um, Portal 2 is probably my favorite puzzle computer game of all time. Um, I played it maybe seven years ago, and I don't remember any of the puzzles apart from the fact that I really I remember just really loving them. So I'm going to be going through rediscovering them um, and, yeah, hopefully really enjoying it. Um, and that'll be something I'll be streaming over on Bremster Games. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Um, anyway, this puzzle, arrows, arrows, arrows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. And digits placed on an arrow um, must sum to the digit in that arrow circle. So the sum of these three digits will go here. The sum of those three digits will go here. Sum of the arrows share digits. That's all we've got. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer, which is sitting at about 200 hours. You know, it's about 200 minutes, but yeah. Let's give this a shot. So anytime you've got three cells, digits that see each other, the minimum is one, two, three, and one, two, three sums to six, and the maximum you can put in is nine. So this is six, seven, or nine, because it sees an eight. Now, these three all see each other, so this is six, seven, eight, or nine. I'm just going to put all the six, sevens, eights, and nines in. Um, these three see each other, so this is six, eight, or nine, because it can't be seven. These three see each other, so this is six, seven, or eight, because it can't be nine. Now, six, seven, or eight means that there must be a one on this arrow, because um, if you don't include a one, then the minimum, 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 I put way too many M's, N's in there. The minimum it would be is two, three, four, and two, three, four sums to nine, which I can't put into that. So, yeah. Um, maybe... What I should be looking at is where nines go in boxes. That's not looking particularly fruitful. This is six, eight, or nine. I'm not sure where I'm looking here. So the thing is, this arrow can contain repeated digits. So there could be geometry tricks going on here. Such as, where does this digit, I mean, this may not be the place to look, but the example I'm using is, where does this digit go in this box? Because it can't repeat on its own arrow, and it can't be in that row. So it's one of those digits. So that's not a great example, but that might be the sort of thing I'm looking for. Like this in this box can't be here or here. So it's one of those four. And if it's one of those two, this is at least thing is, I could repeat digits here. So this could be one, one, two. So this could be as low as four. I'm not sure what to do here. This is six, seven, eight, or nine. But this can't have a three on it. So this can't be six. Because if it's six, this is one, two, three. So this is seven, eight, nine. And this can't be two, three, four. So this must have a one on it. So there is a one in one of those by Sudoku. So what can this be? It could be one, two, four. It could be one, two, five. If I don't put a two on this, the minimum is one, because if I don't put a two on it as well, I'd end up with one, no two, no three, one, four, five, and that'd be 10. So there's a two on this as well. 
and there's no two there. So this is one, two, four, five, or six, and it's not one, two, six. This is not nine. So this is a seven or an eight with one, two, four, or one, two, five. Okay. And now there's no one on this arrow. So the minimum here would be two, two, three, but I can't put a two here. So the minimum here is three, the minimum here is two, and the minimum here is four. Wait a minute, minimum here is three, because I can't put one or two on it, because one and two has to go down here. The minimum here is two, because it can't be one. The minimum here is four, because I've used one, two, and three in this box. Two, three, and four is actually nine, and those are forced, four, three, and two which means two is up here, but I can't put two in that arrow. So two is one of those. Three is one of those, but three could, could go three, one, two. But there's no four in here anymore. So this is one, two, five. There's no two there. And this is eight. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's no eight or nine here, so this is six or seven, so this has to have one and two on it. And it's one, two, three, or one, two, four. There's no four there. There's no two in either of those, so that has to be the two. There must be a one in here, so this becomes the five. This is the one, two pair. What can that be? Because if this surely has to be a three or a four, because the only possibilities are one, which it can't be because the one has to be up here. Can't be two. It could be three. It could be four. Can't be five. It could be six or seven. Can't be eight or nine. But if it's seven, if I make both of those ones, and that could be a nine, but I can't make both of those ones. For it to be six, these would have to be one and two for this to be nine, and the two is not available. So this is a three, four, giving me a one, three, four, triple. This becomes a six or a seven. So this is a three or a four. There must be a one on this because I can't make this two, three, four to make this nine. So there must be a one in here, which means this is the two and this is the one. I keep forgetting that trick. So this can't be one, two, three. So this can't be seven. I can't put a two on this at all. So, sorry, it can't be six. I can't put two on this arrow. So it can't be six, it can't be seven. If it's one, three, five, I can't put a five on this arrow. So without being able to put a two or a five on this arrow, for this to be an eight, I'd have to do one, two, five, or one, three, four. And I can't do it because I can't put one, three, four, or one, or hang on, one, four, three. One, four, three might work. Okay, so this is a little limited. So if this is eight, it's one, four, one, four here with a three. If it's nine, I can't do one, two, six. One, three, I can't do one, three, five, which are the only options. This has to be an eight because I can't put five or six on this arrow because I can't put a six here and I can't put one, two, six. I can't put one, six, two. So I can't make, because I can't put two on this, it's not one, two, six. If it's nine, it would have to be one, three, five because I can't do two, three, four and I can't put five on this arrow. This has to be the eight. Now, the only eight option I've got without one, two is one, three, four. So this is the three and this is the one, four. That's cool. There's no three up here. So this is one, two, four. This becomes the seven, which means this is a six. There's no eight in that one. So this now has to have a two on it, which is not there because it's either one, two, three, or one, two, four. 
There's no two there. Eight is in one of those two. Can that be seven? No, because if it's seven, this is a one, two, four. No, that's not true. I could repeat digits. I'm going to completely ignore that. This is a triple though. One, two, three, seven, and nine. Well, I can't put nine on this arrow. And if this is seven, this would be one, one, nine, and I can't do it. So this is a three. Seven, nine. This is now a six, seven, nine triple. So there's a five in one of those two. I'm slowly making progress. This is six, seven, or nine. So this is six or nine because there's a seven in the box. There's a seven in one of those, but I can't put seven on a three cell arrow. So there's no seven in there. This is a seven. This is a one or a two, and this is an eight or a nine. This seven means this is six, and this is a one, two, three arrow. Got to put a four up here. There's no six here. So this is actually, there's no eight here. This is an eight and this is a four, five pair. So this is a seven. But this four, five pair, four, three would go with one, five, three would go with zero. So this is a four and a one. This is a five. The one makes that four. These are one, three, and nine, and I can't put nine on an arrow, so that's the nine. This six takes six out of there. This is seven or nine. So these are now one, two, ah, oh no, I've still got one, two, or three to put in here. This seven arrow is probably important at this point, but I'm... Not sure on how. Minimum here is four, five, because I've got one, two, three in the box. That's been sitting there for a very long time. Minimum I can put on this two cell arrow without one, two, or three is four, five. Four, five is the maximum I can put in there. So that's a nine. So the four, five means that I've got a triple here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, and eight. Now this can't be a two because these would have to be one and one, but this could still be two, one, maybe? Maybe this can't be an eight. Maybe. But this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well, there's no seven in there, so that's the seven. I do have a one, two, three in here, but maybe. So this six, eight is actually resolved. This is the eight, and this is the six. And now I know these. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, and nine. And I'll use that nine to make that the four and that the nine. Now I do have this triple, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Now there's no seven there. I can't put eight on an eight arrow, so this is an eight. Right. Do, 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 do. Now, there's a few places I think I could look, such as where do I put nine in column two? I can't put nine on an arrow because then this would have to sum to at least 12 because nine, one, two would be 12. So this is the nine, which means this is the eight. This is the nine. Nine is now in one of those two. That's not that helpful, but this is an eight. So this is a one. These have to sum to eight. I can't use one seven. If I use two, six, it's in that order. If I use three, five, it's in that order. And four, four is not possible. But hang on, one comes out of here. This is three, this is two, which means this is six. And this is two. Which takes two out of there. Well, that's been a one since I got the two, three. 
but you know, I got distracted by the stuff I was doing down here. These now have to sum to six. They could be three, three, because this is three, five. So this is either a one, which it can't be. So these are three, three, this is five, this is one. This is the only place no, this has been seven for a very long time. The, the given digit, which is invisible, this is nine, and this is now a seven. So these are two and four, because one, two, four is the only way to make seven in three digits. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This three looks down, making this two and this three. So this has to be a five to make the eight, which makes this one and seven. Could have used the invisible seven a while ago. Uh, one, two, three, four, five go in there. Those will, something will look into this box at some point, which will then look down and resolve those. This seven looks down here though, and resolves this six and the seven, which looks up making that the nine and that not the nine. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no eight there. There's no six there. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five and eight. And I'll use that eight to make that five and that eight, which looks over making this six and this not six. This five makes this four and this five. I could have used this arrow. I actually could have done that. One and four. This five looks over making this eight and this five. The four looks down making this five and this four. Now, I can probably do this with Sudoku, but let's see. So these are one and three. So this is one, this is three. One, two, three, four, and six. Now, if this is a six, then I've already got nine and this would have to be a zero. So this has to be four, this has to be six. By Sudoku, this is two, two, three, and four does sum to nine. The two looks up making this four and this two. And that is Arrows, Arrows, Arrows by No Math Dork. And... I'm sure there's going to be comments like this arrow was redundant or something, you know, I didn't use certain arrows. That's fine. There are multiple ways through a puzzle like this and some people will use different clues to you. Some people will take a completely different solve path and that is not a sign of a bad puzzle. That is a sign of different solvers taking a different solve path. That's not a problem. Um, I don't think, just because you didn't use a clue, um, on a puzzle that is not brutally hard doesn't mean that it's a bad design. Um, and I will stand up for that always. That is a really good puzzle. I enjoyed it. And the interaction of those arrows was a lot of fun. Thank you, No Math Dork. Thank you for sending that one through. And if that's your second puzzle, I look forward to your third. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the run of easier puzzles. I know I'm <laughs> really enjoying them right now. Um, and uh, please feel free. I've made a post about um, in the community section over a week ago now about what you like for your average solve times. And I'm hoping to get some discussion happening um, there, hopefully there about what people are looking for in um, puzzles. Um, so um, I can try and... I, I want to mix things up for sure, but I, I do want to cater to the audience. Um, I, I don't want to just pick videos and, and solve times and everything based on what generates the most revenue or, um, or anything like that. I mean, I do have to go based on um, submissions, but um, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the content and as always, good luck with your solving.